Hi, we're from Express, the, <laughs> the Express Our Future project. Um, the aim of this film is to capture the true voice of young people and what qualities they thought are important in um, people that work with them, such as connection advisors, um, youth, youth workers, social workers, yeah, the social police, workers, teachers, you know. Pretty name much. It. This film was directed, produced, and starred John People. Um, it consists of Vox Pops and X Factor Australian. You know. Hi, I'm Simon Cow. Welcome to the 2010 X Factor Croydon Special Editing Competition. Hi, I'm Shira Cole. G'day, I'm Danny Minogue. Hi, I'm Louis. Are you ready for this year's Limerick? So, how do you feel today? I'm very confident. Are you ready to meet the judges? Obviously, that's what I'm here for. All right, let's go. Good luck. Hi, what's your name? What do you do? And where do you come from? I'm Pia Sumida and I'm a police officer of Croydon, New Addington. So why do you think you have what it takes to be in the abstractor? I'm confident, I've got authority, I have my responsibilities and I know very well how to perform them. Imagine you were walking in the dark on a Friday night through Thornton Heath and you saw a group of young boys outside Morley's. How would you approach them? I'd grab my baton first. And then, obviously, there are a group of boys, so I call for backup. I can't handle them all on my own. I'm a female. Boys could be carrying weapons, knives, guns, drugs, for all I know. What qualities do you think you have in working with young people? I'm headstrong. I know what I have to do and how to do it. I'm confident. And I especially know that young people should respect their elders and treat them well. They shouldn't be on the street. They should be okay, at that's, home. That's enough. That's enough. Thank you. Okay, Louie. What do you think? Well, I feel you're far too aggressive to be in this competition and to be working with young children. Danny? Yeah, I totally agree. I think you stereotype and you need to learn to, when you're walking on the streets, to see people as individuals, not as stereotypes. And also, when you talk to someone with aggression, they automatically come back at you with aggression. Maybe that's something you need to think about when you're doing your job. Yeah, I totally agree with the other two judges. Um, I think that you... It display a lot of aggression and um, you prejudge people um, young people and stereotype them and I think if you come with that negative attitude then they will display this as well. Well that's four no's from us and you can leave the door is that way. Do you know what you can say what you want but I'll still be patrolling the streets of New Addington Good and luck. I'll be back Good next luck. year. Thanks bye bye. So how are you feeling today? I'm really nervous. I just hope I can just put across to them that I just love working with young people and um, I can engage with them effectively. So you ready to meet the judges? Yes, I think I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Hi, so what's your name and what do you do currently? Hi, I'm Mrs Smith and I'm a secondary school teacher in Croydon. How would you um, engage and address a, a class that is, let's say, rowdy and won't listen to? Well, I threaten that I will send parent slips home or give them detention for the week or ask for the headmaster to come in, but I, I find it doesn't work. All these things I've used, <laughs> it just doesn't work. I really don't feel, think that you have what it takes to work with young children. You're really unbalanced. You're too soft. To, um, to be honest, um, I don't even know why you came here. To be honest, well, I think you're being a bit too harsh on her. I'm just Look, saying. I think she's a very nice person. I think right, she's got the right skills and everything. I think she just needs a bit of encouragement and training, and she'll be fine. A little confidence boost. Um, Simon, maybe we should take a vote. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, Louis. No. Oh, Louis, come on! Everyone no, needs a break ready. sometime. She's not ready. I think she is. She needs to be more confident. She's not ready. Oh. Um, well, I'm saying yes. Um, I think you're honest and you've got a lot of potential and I think you could go quite far in this competition. Yeah, I, I agree with Danny. I think the same. I think the little training with them um, to deal with situations in the classroom and how to interact with children and young people in the classroom, I think it'll be fine. Just be more confident. Oh, well, I guess it's down to me then, isn't it? God, Simon. <sighs> you know what? I like you. I guess that's three yeses. Oh. You're free. Thank you, Simon, so much. I promise I will right. not let you down. No worries. Thank you, okay, have more confidence, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. I won't let you down, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.
Are you ready to meet the judges? Yeah, I'm really ready. I'm really looking forward to it and proving that, you know, I've definitely got the X Factor today. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's game on. Okay, let's go. Hi, so um, what's your name and what do you do for a living? I'm an Mount, I'm a youth worker. I've got a lot of experience um, working with young people, so I'm here to, to prove today that I've got the X Factor to work with young people. Why did you um, choose to work with young people? You know what, it's just, why do I choose to work with young people? Because I, I just feel that it's my, vo my vocation in life to work with young people. What do you feel you've achieved um, during, during your time working with young people? Put together a lot of programs for young people, um, giving them a voice, um, enabling them to express their creativity. Uh, so it's very important to me. Have you ever encountered a hard to reach young person? And if you have, how do you feel that you've helped them? Young people are everywhere, you know, it's, it's how you engage with them. Um, that's more of importance. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, it's important that you understand them, you understand them as an individual. Um, rather than, you know, stereotyping them or putting them into boxes, as it were. For me, it's a yes. I really like what you have to offer. Yeah, same. I'm really excited to see how far you're going to go in this competition. I think you have a really good shot at winning this. Yeah, same. I think I have to agree with the two judges. I think you've come up with loads of um, good pointers, positive points, um, in working with young people, and you show the accurate skills. Well, that's four yeses and you're sailing through. Congratulations. Well done. Well yeah, done. Good luck. All right, then. See you later. Bye. Well, they need to be able to bond with people, communicate with people and understand like how to build a positive relationship with them. They need to like they need to be able to listen to them, um, get their views of how teaching them could be better. <laughs> and obviously they're, they're professional, but they need to have like friendship with them. So like, it's not just teaching a, a, a student and a teacher. It's like, you need to be able to, if you're friends with your teacher, it's better and you can learn easier. Respectful doesn't shout. Okay. They're okay. kind yeah. and understandable. Listen to what you have to say. Okay. And now think of your worst teacher and what qualities do they have that you don't really like? Not respectful to you. Okay. And um, shout at you for no reason. Okay. They don't listen to what you have to say. Okay. Don't understand us. Okay. I think they need to be understanding, have patience, and they need to be able we need to be able to talk to them more friendly so they need to be able to have a proper conversation with us like they're one of us. Well, the, the perfect thing to be is to be respectable. They have to be easily respectable. They have to be funny. It's just always easier. And very. it's good for them to be kind, but not too laid back. And not too strict as they they have too much punishment. But easy to be around, but not too easy, so that, that you don't feel they're not doing anything for you. I need to understand a bit more. Okay. I need to be able to talk to kids. I think they're quite rude. Okay. They should be more polite and friendly and more approachable. Mm, loads of respect, understanding. I need to be able to communicate effectively with young people. And I need to be able to relate, relate to them accurately. Understand, commitment, respect, quite fun, yeah. not too boring. As a group, the school council and I, we came up with the six top qualities that we think that someone who works with us needs. We came up with listen, acknowledge their mistakes, they need to be patient, fair, trustful and fun. All the information gathered in this DVD here will be used when designing the hype tool. The hype tool? What does that sound for? Well, hype stands for how young people evaluate. And this tool was designed by young people and will be used to measure the qualities needed in people who work with them. Good times.